Hi, right, my name is Kyle Pollock, a soccer coach from Wilmington, North Carolina. Today I'm going to talk about how you should break in a soccer cleat. For this clip, you would need soccer cleats, soccer field, and a shower. So it's very important that you must break in a soccer cleat before wearing in a game. It is very important. You do not want to get blisters or also hurt your feet from a new shoe. So the most important way to break in a cleat is wear it a couple times at practice, just for half the practice before getting really used to them. So I would wear your brand new cleat for about half the practice, then put on your old ones just to break them in. But if that isn't working yet, the best way to do it is definitely warm in the shower and get them nice and wet and wiggle your toes around as much as possible and try and loosen up the leather. It's very important that you should always break in a soccer cleat before wearing it before you go into a match. It's very important. And also, another way you can break them in is kind of bend them nice and loosely, but don't bend them too much. You may break the insole. So it's just nice and easy. Just loosen them up a little bit, loosen the leather up, so it's very important to always break in a soccer cleat before a game. So just wear them about half a practice before each game and then try on these cleats and put on your old ones for half the practice as well. So one half wear your new cleats, other half wear your old cleats to break them in. So the most important thing is if that isn't working, just put them in the shower, get them nice and wet and try and soften up the leather. So that is a perfect way how to break in a soccer cleat.